Okay everybody, so as promised in the previous video regarding Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain, how to download, I am back with the error fixing and if you did not have the error, congratulations, you have the game for yourself now, enjoy playing it and uh, since I know you people, I know my audience, I think you have the error and that's why you're here. And if not, if you're here to support me, thank you, thank you so much. And with that being said, I just hit 95 subscribers, so we're a cozy little family of 95 people. Or rather 96, including me. So, okay, so let's just get started. So the UNA, UNARC DLL error, or the infamous isdone.com, DLL or is done DLL is a pretty annoying error because it cannot be fixed like running into safe mode or something but I will uh, be going through the basic solutions first so the very basic solution of all times is to run the installation by booting up your PC in safe mode so how do you do do that in Windows 10 it's the run window you need to open first with control R, Windows R and type in MS config okay and hit enter that should open up the configuration window system configuration and now all you need to do is go to the boot tab and hit safe boot here don't tamper with these just hit apply and ok and reboot your computer so and once you're in the safe mode now you can try installing the game again and uh, if the game still gives you the same error which I'm sure it will uh, you can proceed on to the next solution so the next next solution will involve a download and that will be of course the isdone.dll so you need to google it first like I have and head on over to the first website and wait a minute so in the previous video I mentioned I had searched for the solution like a billion times so this is all I've searched and when I click in one of these videos I went in a loop like watching many videos again and again and again and I could find nothing that fixed my error or even addressed it properly so okay so you hit on the first error uh, link first link my bad sorry and you wait for the page to load pretty patiently and while you're in the page you need to download this file both 32 bits so if you're on a 64 bit PC like me need not worry just download this from here and it'll be a zip file so I think I have it in my downloads yet um, Yes, I have these two. Let me just cut them. Place them right here. Okay. So you have the SDN DL.zip file now. You need to open it with WinRAR. It'll pop up with an error message because I'm sure you have not bought it, just like I haven't. So you head on over to your C drive and you go to Windows and you scroll down to System32 and System32 is the folder that uses the 32-bit version DLL files and all that stuff. So that's where you need to go. And open this up and just keep this to the side and just drag and drop it right here not here okay got a bit too excited right here and this will ask me to replace because I did not have it at first 
and if you had it at first all you need to do is go down to the system32 folder and rename your isdn.dll to isdn backup the dll and then you can proceed re uh, pasting this or extracting this file from the zip you just downloaded so i will obviously not do this because i don't want to screw it up again and just to be safe you can also paste the same dll here in syswow or syswww64 that will use all the 64 bit dlls and stuff so you can extract it here just to be safe uh, but i'm sure the pc does not understand it will just think you're stupid so it's up to you and uh, with that being done you can close it okay so there's one more thing i want to tell you guys you have to register this dll but upon trying to do that it will show up another error but um, if if you just did this and proceeded with your installation like a trial method and if you succeed crossing that point that gave you the error it's well and good you're done with that but i'm sure you won't get away that easy so just bear with this error a little longer go to command prompt not like this hit right click on your start button and open command prompt as admin it'll have you say yes to a uac and uac and you say yes and there you have it uh, i just forgot the code okay so now you're in the command prompt all you need to type is R E G S V R 32 and then the file you want to register in our case it will be is done the DLL make sure you type it as it is or you can copy and paste it from the description so I S D O N E dot D L L and hit enter and that is what you are gonna get don't ask me how to solve it don't ask me what it is I have no clue all I understand is that this shit screwed up and it is registered but you are not getting away with whatever you want to do so okay and by the way it's not gonna work in safe mode either so don't bother trying and you just exit out of this let me just close this okay okay so how do you solve it now this is the solution that worked for me uh, and, and 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 before I get there there is one more solution I would like to share with you because I don't exactly know if this or the solution I am about to explain at the last of the video or at the ending of the video worked for me so let's just do both of them uh, because it won't harm you in any way so why not again you go to the run window you know how to but still win plus r and you hit oh okay you don't hit it you type services.msc and you hit OK. So this might take some time to load, but it'll pop up. OK, it popped up. So you need to look for a certain thing here. Okay, here it is. You need to look for super fetch. That is a service that you don't want to be running anymore. So you look for super fetch in the services thing. The window just popped out. Okay, so you double click it and this should be automatic for you. So you hit manual and hit apply and okay 
and what you need to do after that is right click it and just stop it it's already stopped for my PC so I have this option to start it but you need to stop it so that it does not run ever again but you can however enable it whenever you want it if you see the need okay so that's one part of the solution that worked for me and the second most dumbest part that I hoped my PC would laugh at me for worked so all you need to do is download another DLL that is the unarc the DLL google it right here and go to the first website this is the most trusted website for DLLs dll-files.com so that's where I get my DLLs from and if in the future videos I mention of DLLs you know where to find them now there's just one version 0.0.0.0 I hope that made four zeros all you need to do is download this you'll get a zip file again you need to extract them wherever you want just shove this readme into the recycle bin you need these two files and cut them from where you have extracted them to go to go to the um the setup folder if you may where the installation file is present so for me it will be local disk d game setups metal gear solid 5 the phantom pain fit gold repack so that's where my thing is my thing what am i saying my setup is so all you need to do is just right click and paste it just right click and paste it that's all you need to do and before you do any of that just verify the bin files I'm sure you will have everything correct but just in case and uh, there's one more stupid solution but uh, if it works for you then why not and I found this quite interesting and logical when I was browsing for solutions so the guy said that you can just force check the file again like for start it and it will check up all that all the files that have been downloaded because in the process of starting and stopping the download again and again some files tend to get misplaced lost or end up not being downloaded so if that's the case it will be stuck at 99.9 .9 and you can restart the download or just hit the download button right here and it will download the rest 0.1% and you will be good to go just in case any of the files were missing so that's pretty stupid but um, the third last and second last solution proved working for me and I hope it will work for you and if none of these works for you then I'm really really sorry all you need to do is right click on the whole folder and delete it permanently I am really sorry for your loss and with that being said like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching